Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wang, also a fellow Cancerian. So I'm doing a weekly Cancer reading for you, us, tuning in to divine messages of guidance to find some clarity, ease, flow, abundance and love looks like uh feels more around work and finances but somehow there's uh, a love element that's coming through so let's get to your reading this is a general reading i'm tuning into a group a collective energy so use your discernment to figure out which messages are for you to intuit which messages are for you and which messages to let go all right cancer in the past we have the ace of pentacles in reverse Ooh. A lack of opportunity, a lack of a new start. This feels very stuck. Uh, I can't get something off the ground. I don't know which direction to take. Yeah, uh, it feels like a lot of in your head trying to figure out like strategize like how do i how do i get out of this how do i move forward i'm stuck on this like energy in the past that says i can't move forward i don't know how to move forward i don't know when where it feels like there there's a lot of variables interesting it looks like it looks like you you learn to master your emotions in this time period where it feels like i don't have a new option i don't have a tangible new opportunity i don't i don't know what my next step is i don't know what my new beginning is I'm strategizing and I'm learning how to master my emotions. I'm staying calm and centered and I f there's something that's happening here around really valuing your emotions as well. And it looks like this is what I was getting beforehand that like Knowing how to hold space for your emotions allows you to start making progress towards a new beginning, slowly but surely taking little steps. But it's, I, I wanna validate that there's, there's a, a mastering of your emotions here in the past that made that possible. You, you really learned how to ground your emotions in and make them work for you, allow them to work for you. Looks like in the past you were connected with someone, um, you have a great depth of personality, of emotions, of what you're willing to have and see in the world. It looks like you were connected with someone in the past who was just, um, they, have, they hadn't met themselves as deeply as you have. And they, they don't, they, it doesn't feel like they ever had a plan on becoming more deep. This feels like someone who's very manipulative, 
feels like they manipulated your emotions <clears throat> uh, through speech, maybe, um, or lack of speech, lack of communication. This is definitely a smiling liar. This is someone um, tells you what you want to hear, not the truth about how they feel. They, they don't share how they feel. I feel like at the end of this connection, the mask came off a bit and you started really seeing who you were with. That was the true person. That was who you were with. That unmasked, very unapologetic, almost shamelessly cruel. That, that was the real person. I feel like you were... maybe tuned into their potential or their 5D self and actively blinding yourself to the reality of who you were really with because it didn't fit the story that you'd created for yourself, something like that. I feel like that, that person and that lack of love is very much related to a lack of progress in your pentacles, in your 3D environment, and having a, a, a new start. I feel like this person might have even sabotaged a, your new start. So, there's that. All right, Cancer. In present time energy, we have the two of swords in reverse. So it looks like you've taken off that blindfold. Something something that you have blinded yourself to. It's been in your subconscious or unconscious. Just in the periphery. Something that maybe you didn't want to see. So maybe you chose not to see. Willfully blind. It feels like those blinds have now come off and whatever confusion you were once in because you were blinded, there's a lack of confusion now. Oh, you see. Oh, you see. What is it that you see? I feel like you're looking at what's coming next. You're seeing something. You're making a decision. It's so much easier to make decisions without blinding yourself. It looks like now you very clearly, wow, you are clearly seeing people who have a lack of self-love, who are not authentic. You see, um, you can see because you've, you've met so many people who have told you what you want to hear instead of um, being truthful. You've had a lot of people who've played you. And it's, I think once you take that blindfold off, it's, it might be a little like embarrassing. Like, oh my gosh. I've been hoodwinked. I've hoodwinked myself. I put that blindfold on myself. I allowed that blindfold to be put on. It's off now. So you're really seeing very clearly those who are not waking up, those who are not becoming more conscious, those who are not on a similar trajectory as you are. There's no judgment. Everybody, it's free will. This universe is free will. Everybody has their own choice. But I feel like you've had a lot of people in the past who have kind of held on to your energy and manipulated you and sourced you for your beautiful energy. And they've told you what you wanted to hear, but it, it wasn't... It, so there were red flags, but you just kind of let them go. 
Yeah, but now you see, you, you can't un, it's like you took the red pill and now you see, you see the truth. It looks like you're letting go of a lot of people. You're moving on. You're realizing that ugh, what cups are not filled? They're empty. They're illusions. Looks like you're you're moving away. And as you as you release people with love, with care, like go um, go in peace. You, you start having a lot of movement. Your that your energy has been a bit stagnant or stop and start, like it's been out of flow. And now, um, because you are releasing and willing to release energies and those who are not for you and on your path going forward, you start having a lot of victory, a lot of uh, quick movement as you start moving towards what you want lighter all right your cancer your messages from your higher self it's the hierophant in reverse so a lot of you are having um maybe experiencing or going through or just gone through or about to go through like a, a spiritual crisis disconnect from source you're never disconnected from source you can however create the illusion that it feels like you are completely separated from the light of god however that is never true but because this is a free will universe and you can create whatever you want it looks like you're creating the experience of being completely unsupported, even by source. If you are feeling this, and this is a this is a tough place to be. It is it is very dark. Feeling completely de detached from source, light, guides. Please know that you are never unsupported. You ha are just experiencing the Okay, it looks like you're going through this dark dark period. It doesn't feel like it lasts very long. But it allows you to trust when you can't see the light, when you can't feel the light around you, to trust that the light is there and then I'll make it through. I'll make it through the light, to the light. This is, this is, uh, this is a big kind of test. I don't feel like anybody outside is testing you. I feel like you are, you're wanting to show yourself this, that... No matter how things seem or appear, that you are always connected. It feels like there's a lot of energy that comes in to try to block your ability to see yourself and see your divinity. It feels like someone projects this onto you. Yeah, okay. Someone who's very unstable, very insecure, very clingy. They're having difficulty with their finances right now. They're not abundant. Wow, you might have felt a, a connection with someone during this this um, kind of dark period. It's like out of the darkness, someone shows up and when you can't even really see yourself 
in the darkness and the dark space that you are, someone shows up and they see you. And I feel like it's like, whoa, they get, they see you. This feels like a soul connection. You feel like immediately, there's no small talk. This feels like deep. Something, this experience, it looks like there's something going on with your work. Something that you've been putting a lot of effort into is not working. It's not, I mean, you put so much energy into it, but nothing, nothing's happening. It's like I put so much effort and time and it looks like um, this cycle isn't ending. It, it's like you're, you're trying to manifest out of this stuck work energy, stuck business energy, stuck abundance, things not flowing. It looks like at this time you're you're resisting going in within, like it's not the time. I can't go in and here. I'm I'm around people. I'm busy. I'm. You're trying to avoid going within and going into that healing space. But you just you can't move forward until you. until you do this healing it's not an option it's it's like it feels like the your higher self is saying you're trying everything but what the answer is and the answer is to go within to stop distracting stop dissociating stop numbing stop ignoring whatever your um how you run away how you hide from yourself. Um, once you stop doing that and, and face, just be with where you are. It's okay. Stop resisting where you are at. There's nothing wrong with where you are at. You're very uncomfortable where you're at. And you're trying to escape it or numb out or distract instead of just be right where you're at there's nothing wrong with where you're at the more you release resistance and accept i am right where i'm at and accept that, that there's nothing wrong with being right where you're at no matter how uncomfortable how awkward how out of place it feels that's where you're at it feels like w when you really hunker in and accept and f feel what you've been hiding and running away from and numbing from, then you can have movement. Your challenge right now, Cancer, is the Ten of Cups. I feel like some of you have um, some beliefs that are getting in the way of your own uh, lasting happiness and fulfillment lasting love beliefs like um i don't trust anybody everybody's uh you can't trust people this always happens people always do this to me maybe some victim mentality um whatever it, it's time to let go of those and tune in and invite this energy in. Lasting fulfillment, whatever it looks like for you. I feel like the challenge is that you might be, you might have a picture of what that lasting fulfillment is, what it looks like, what it, how it would show up. And the challenge is to get in your heart space and feel 
from that heart space, that Ten of Cups energy, and allow it to expand and, and join in and come in this way. So you might not know who, what, how it looks like. It's not about trying to see it. It's about feeling it and embodying that Ten of Cups energy so you have it activated in your space so more of that Ten of Cups energy has to, the more you are aligned and vibrating at that Ten of Cups energy, then you attract more of it. All right, Cancer. Your What's hidden is the Page of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, someone's talking about you. Also, a message you don't want to hear or a lie. Which is that? What do we need to know? What's hidden? What does Cancer need to know about what's hidden? If this reading's resonating so far, please give me a like. Hit that like button. I appreciate ya. Yeah, I think what's hidden, I think you think, I think you think that you think that I think. <laughs> Cancer, it looks like you might not realize, you might think that these people who have lied have gotten away with it. They just lie, 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 lie. Do you know this about cancer? Oh, yeah, cancer. cancer. It feels like uh, you have a lot of people weaving lies about you. What you don't see is that these people are receiving karma. It looks like they're receiving... Oh! These people lied... And their lies really affected, they're really trying to block your pentacles. They were trying to block your even well-being, your new beginning. So whoever this was in the past, they're one of those people that's receiving karma. They block, they, someone tried to block your new beginning. It feels like a lot of people have been really actively, okay, this isn't, you're not a victim. These people are, are acting on what, they don't know this, unconsciously, it looks like you have sabotage, self-sabotage and possibly some karma where you have sabotaged others in the past. And so you were receiving karma and yeah. Uh, so what's happening to these people? Ooh, it got really warm all of a sudden. Excuse me Well, I Woo. All right. Uh, so whoever tried to block your blessings, they blocked one, the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Their karma is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They are, they're losing what they have. They're, they're losing tenfold. Whatever they tried to do to you, they are getting a huge karmic wave coming back. Their lies, um, yeah, are coming back to bite them. I don't think you see this. I think you might believe, I think some of you kind of like, I feel like most people might, but I'm telling you, they're, no matter what their social media says or how they're communicating, they're, they're very unstable right now. 
there's a lack of stability, a lack of abundance in, in, a, in a profound way. So hopefully whoever's receiving this karma uses this as an opportunity to learn uh, and, and grow from this experience. So, all right, Cancer, moving on. Hey, look at you showing up in your own reading. The chariot is your opportunity. You are your opportunity. Yeah, you, you're just jumping over this lesson, this lesson, this lesson. You're just moving through lessons. I feel like you're, um, you started out maybe at the beginning of this reading, whenever this is when you couldn't have a new beginning or someone tried to block your new beginning or someone blocked your new beginning uh, or made it difficult for that new beginning. It looks like it has, you were overcoming obstacles, but now you've got a momentum about you. And I feel like anybody who tries to block your blessings and get in the way, Spirit's got your back. Okay, there's an opportunity with a bully. Someone who's maybe ruthless, arrogant. Again, that lying energy. There's an opportunity with a liar in this present energy. What's the opportunity? I feel like you run right over them. I mean, not like run them down, but you're just like, okay, yeah, this, I think you, you see that this rudeness, this lies, these, whatever this person is BSing, blah, 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 blah. It's, I think you see, wow, I think you see, oh. The lights went out and then the lights came back. Wow. Interesting. I think you see in a very clear way that this person is acting from a place of powerlessness. Insecure. There, so much self-doubt. Low confidence. They're feeling inadequate and that their lies and manipulation and their cruelty is coming from, I think they think they're, they're being very powerful, but it, you're seeing them clearly that's coming. I think because you're seeing that they're showing up as an unhealed version of yourself. So you recognize, game recognizes game. You're like, oh yeah, I remember when I was really insecure and had low self-confidence and I used to lie and manipulate a lot as well. Try to control my environment with, um, through my communication. The, I feel like you're, you don't engage with this person. Yeah. <laughs> you, um, This, it, you don't engage in this person because you realize that it's, there's no point. This person is never, they're just not ready to heal this aspect of themselves. So any type of trying to explain like, I see you, I see you, not what you're trying to get me to believe, but I see the real, your real intentions. I see how sucky you are. <laughs> it they can't hear you. They wouldn't understand. They oh my goodness, no. 
So I think you realize this person can't have this about themselves. So it looks like you don't engage. And that's your opportunity. You just kind of, once you realize what's going down and who this person really is and how they're showing up, it feels like you, you move through this. Not easily. There's some type of, it, it's not happy. You don't, you're not like, this is great. But it helps move your energy because you don't engage. You don't go, this person is on a karmic wheel that you are coming off of or have come off of. And so if you engage in this, with this person, then you go back on and get pulled back into this wheel, onto this wheel of karma with them. And it, your opportunity is to get off that wheel of karma, not be enticed back in, N ignore your ego, let people believe whatever they want about you, you're moving on and you move on very quickly from this energy. Good job, way to go. All right, Cancer, your possible outcome this week is the Two of Pentacles. Juggling, trying to figure out which option is the best, which option is the higher option, which, which road to take, which direction to go, which one's the best. Looks like uh, you're head over heart right now, making uh, decisions from a very um, logical space. You're, you are a messenger of truth right now. I feel like you can, some people are a bit, can be a bit taken aback by how direct you can be. You're not messing around. I feel like you've spent enough time um, holding your tongue, being um, a pleaser, and now you're figuring out how to speak your truth. Sometimes your truth comes out and so direct there's a lack of care. Feels like you're figuring it out. That's good. Ooh. There's something going on in the possible outcome. Um, You might be feeling a little empty or blocked, maybe some emotional loss. Maybe, you know, you're, you're, people are showing up and I think they're, it's hurtful, like realizing that someone that you thought was your friend isn't your friend. And uh, in an act of self-love, having to to cut people off that's that too you're telling your truth but you're also using that sort of truth to to cut ties with um those who are not for you those who aren't with you those who aren't a part of your path and i think that's that's wise and also equally true painful it's painful because you have a lot of love for people. It feels like you you tune in a lot to their potential. And like you have a real 5D view of the people close to you. And and so when you really see the truth and you see that they're not their frenemies, they're not for you. They're people who you have loved very much, especially this person in the past here in the beginning. 
and for them to go out of their way instead of just leaving separating they they take extra steps to go out of their way to stop you from having a new beginning it's like it is it's gonna take a minute to heal that heart and that's okay it looks like you're manifesting stability more it looks like you want uh, a lot not a lot of people but you want to, uh, a, a nice group of people that you can trust an inner circle it looks like they're starting to show up because you're clearing the people who are not for you who have never been for you or if they move into that energy realizing okay you were once with my energy and we could work together, but now something has shifted and so I'm moving on. It looks like you're manifesting um, stability. You're again, the, oh, oh, and you're manifesting your match. You're manifesting someone who also has a very clear seeing. Okay, you're manifesting also quite possibly maybe romantic. It doesn't feel that romantic, at least not here. It feels like someone who has, who can see, who can see things as you do. I think you've been asking for this, like, Instead of convincing people to see things, do you don't you see that this is like I see this this way? I feel like you're manifesting someone who ha who's on the same level, who has the depth of sight that you do, who can, who's honest, who speaks as directly as you do. Cut to the t chase. Wow, nice. All right, Cancer, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care.